Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I want to say a big thank you to everybody who entered the giveaway for the Modern Goddess Oracle deck from my friend Julie. Um, I have done a video announcing the winners. The winners are also on Instagram and on our Facebook page, Susan Dawn Spiritual for both, for both. So make sure you check that out if you haven't already. I have contacted the winners. A huge thank you to everybody for entering. Really appreciate that. Um, we're going to do a quick energy update right now, just checking in on the union energies. What I'm just going to do is pull some cards and see what kind of messages come out, just see what's going on with the collective here. Um, I want this to be a quick video, just a quick update. We're not looking at the masculine or feminine or anything. Just want to see what's coming out, um, what kind of energy I get. Things have been kind of uh, crazy the past few days. I had a great Scorpio full moon, and then all of a sudden yesterday it was like, purging and releasing and triggering and that led into today. I had some major healing sessions today, done today. I released the last of my attachment. That's what I felt like. It just felt like I released a lot of attachment on the last of the attachment. And it's a sense of freedom. It's a sense of love. It's a sense of what will be will be. And um, it was it was difficult. I gotta say it was not easy to, to get to that place. Um, but it feels, I feel good. I feel good. I feel like what is meant for me will always be meant for me. And, um, I'm excited. I'm excited for whatever it is that my future holds, however that looks like. However, you know, whatever that looks like with regards to this divine partnership, whatever that looks like with regards to my own life and my own manifestations. I made a decision a couple months ago that I just wanted to be happy. That's it. I just wanted to be happy. Um, I chose happiness for my life. And I'm back in that place of love and just wanting to be happy, whatever that looks like. Whatever, you know, whatever it is that I manifest, whatever's in store for me, whatever is in alignment with me. And um, that feels good. That feels good. Is the love no longer there? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I'm always, like, the love is always there. That's not even a question for me. The love is always, always there. The attachment is not. We have death. And death is transformation. It's also Scorpio energy. This Scorpio full moon was a major transformation for both counterparts. Both counterparts doing major healing work. Um, I don't know if anybody escaped this. Looking at the shadow sides, looking at, um, I'm also hearing karma. I'm also hearing karma coming, karma coming full circle. Um, so that could be karma closing out karmic cycles. That could be closing out, um, toxicity. That could be closing out beliefs. That could be closing out, um, pulling down the mask, pulling down the illusions, coming to understandings of oneself. I'm hearing major transformations. You have to die in order to be reborn. You have to. Like, that's the cycle. That's the circle of life. That's that's the whole cycle. You have to die in order to be reborn. And I'm also hearing that you have to face that. You have to face that. That's Sometimes it can be hard, but that's the shadow side. That whatever, you know, whatever comes from that. But if you want a new beginning, you have to have an ending. And we don't always know what new beginnings look like, do we? We don't we don't know. That's part of the unfolding. That's part of what it is to be here in this world, on this earth. That's part of the experience that we're having. Learning to have faith in our manifestations and our creations learning that we have a spirit team behind us, that we're never alone, knowing that we're connected, knowing that everything is working out for us and trusting and having faith that everything's working out for us. Even things that come to an end, you have to have an ending to come to a new beginning. And that's what um, a friend actually helped me real realize today. You know, I, I felt like I was at the, the end of a cycle and I wanted to move through that ending because, I'm damn it, I want my new beginning. I want my new beginning. Whatever that looks like, I want it. I want my abundance. If you guys remember, 
a couple of months ago, I was trying to manifest Girl Scout cookies. I had ordered Girl Scout cookies, and they weren't coming. It was taking, like, two months to get them. And I was like, sorry, guys, that's my dog. I was like, damn it, I want my Girl Scout cookies. Why am I not getting my Girl Scout cookies? And um, that was, like, a test in manifestation for me. Hold on one second. So that was, like, a test in manifestation for me. It was, why am I not getting my Girl Scout cookies? It's me now wanting my abundance, wanting what I want. Wanting a loving relationship, wanting commitment, wanting partnership. My divine counterpart, who I will always believe is my divine counterpart, said to me, you're not wrong to want what you want. He said that to me fairly recently, and I'm not. Nobody is wrong to want what they want. And if two people don't align in what they want, that's okay. There is nothing wrong with that either. That is comes from a place of acceptance and that's coming from a place of love too that's coming from a place of love too love for myself and accepting what it is that I want knowing what it is that I I want and what I deserve and sorry guys um <laughs> between my dogs barking and then I didn't realize that my laptop battery was low so oh boy <laughs> but I want to I want to get this out I want to do this reading I want to you know see what kind of messages are coming out as I was shuffling the full flu out um, and how perfect is that it's the new beginning it's the brand new journey it's the reset the zero point the reset taking the leap of faith into the unknown and weren't we just talking about that that we don't know what's to come but that's the beauty of this journey that's why we're here taking chances taking chances in her own evolution, like taking chances in these bodies, in these, on this earth. Ready to learn, ready to experience. I'm hearing ready to grasp all life has to offer. This new beginning from, from an ending comes a new beginning. And endings are heartbreaking and endings are scary. But endings can also bring something beautiful. As we know, you know, every fall, the leaves and the plants and the flowers die. And every spring, they come back to life. For some of you, it's going to be new life in your relationship. New life in your life and new life in your relationship. It's going to be something reborn. New endings. Old endings make new beginnings. See what else we've got. I just keep hearing fool for love, fool for love. He's a fool for love. So that might be resonating with some of you. That might actually be the divine masculine waking up to this connection. A fool for love. Understanding the importance of love in his life now. So what we have is the eight of pentacles and judgment. Judgment all about rebirth. Being called to rise up, being called to refocus your energy, refocus your work. And I've never noticed this before. Okay, so there are three flames here, but immediately they showed me the to the two here, to the two flames, and then saying a third. This is the Trinity. This is the Trinity. And we've been channeling that for the past, I don't even know, the past year. This connection, the divine, divine masculine and the divine feminine. All working as one. This is the old. You see how it's all caught in this web? This is the old that you've put behind. And now look at this shiny new pentacle. And look how studious he is. Look how he's focused on it. This is the rebirth. This is the rebirth. This is what you're focused on now. Being called to rise. Putting an end to all these karmic cycles, it's up, it's in, it's in the rafters, it's, it's in the web, it's all, you know, tied up, it's, it's, it's nothing to concern anymore, it's done, it's over, and now there's this one big pentacle in his hand, this is the love, this is what you're being called to rise to, being called to rise to love, rebirth here, a lot of new beginnings, let's see what other messages we have. Um, I'm being called to the, to the 20 here. It's 10 and 10. Two 10s. 
two cycles, um, a cycle closed for the Divine Feminine, a cycle closing for the Divine Masculine. Both of you closing out your cycles. Both of you closing out your cycles. Any other messages? Any other messages? We got the death card again. Look, look at how this is laid out here. Do you see this? If I can lay it out. It's a cycle. It's the circle. It forms that circle here. Beginnings, endings, beginnings. Death to life. Something had to close out. Something had to be put to rest in order for this rebirth, in order for this new cycle to come in. Tell us more about this. Let's get more messages about this. What else do you have? Queen of Swords. A lot of you stepping into your Queen of Swords energy. Um, just no longer willing to sacrifice yourself, no longer willing to hide yourself, w wanting to speak your truth, wanting clarity, and no longer accepting anything less than that. You see the crown on her head and how it's kind of glowing? It's kind of like crown chakra energy that I'm getting. Um, and that sword in her hands, a sword of truth, clarity, truth, authenticity. No longer hiding from anything. No longer hiding from yourself. And that includes whatever it is that you want for your life. That includes whatever it is that you wish to manifest. Four of Pentacles. Guarded energy here. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. Oh, the Emperor. Okay. Okay. It's like a progression going from this. Okay, that's what they're telling me. This is the death and the rebirth. Going from this, this guarded energy, to the emperor. Holding everything close to the chest. Now wanting to speak true. This is for divine feminines and divine masculines. Moving into the emperor's emperor energy. Transformation. Transformation. New beginnings, rebirth, working hard at this, focused on this, focused on this connection, focused on their own transformation, focused on their own ascension. What's that? From heartbreak, three of swords to the two of cups. For some, this could be third parties. And from the third party, it now becomes two through this transformation, through this rebirth. For others, there was heartbreak and toxicity within this relationship. Transforming to both of you have cups to offer each other now. Where there was once an imbalance that created havoc and chaos and toxicity and strife and struggle and pain. Now, sharing affection and love for one another. This is all about rebirth. This is all about change here. Amazing. Um, temperance at the bottom of the deck. Healing energy. Balancing out. Balancing out now. No longer. You see how in one cup it's the flames and the fire. In the other cup it's water. You know, if the heat's too hot, you get burned. Water's too cold, you freeze. You even it out. You temper the energy. You come into balance. Come into a place of neutrality. And when you come into a place of neutrality, it's not like, it's almost, the energy that they're giving me is when you come into a place of neutrality, and what they're telling me with that is come into a place of detachment, releasing that attachment. 
I'm asking them to give, give me more about that. Releasing the hold that you had on the past. Because that is the past, that is what died, that is the end for the transformation to have taken place, for this new beginning to come in. So that you can take that leap of faith. You have to take the leap of faith here. Coming to a place of neutrality. But it's not its not a neutral energy. It's almost like when you, it's like the reset here. They're giving me the reset button, like the zero point. Once you reach that point, that neutral point, then it's like everything is reignited. Your life is reignited. This next phase of your evolution, this next phase of your life is reignited. You have to temper the energy first. You have to come to a place of releasing that attachment of what was to allow what will be by staying firmly in the what is. For more grounded, stable energy here, Queen of Pentacles. Something more grounded, something more stable, something more secure, something of high value here. Let's see if there's any other messages. What's to come from this new beginning? What's to come from this new beginning? What can we what can we expect from this new beginning? I don't know what's to come. Oh my god, Ten of Cups. Yep. That's what's to come. Take that leap of faith now. Put the past in the past. Take that leap of faith because it's every wish is fulfilled. It's your goddamn Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> You're manifesting your Girl Scout cookies. You're manifesting your abundance. It is here. It is coming. It's here. It's coming. Okay, you guys. I know a little bit of a convoluted, out of cups on the bottom of the deck, a little bit of a convoluted reading, but I just wanted to do a quick check-in on the energies. Um, we'll be back uh, possibly over the weekend with another energy check-in, so make sure you like and subscribe. Um, leave a comment if this is resonating with you, and we'll definitely be back. Send you guys so much love, so much light, and we'll see you soon.